Hello, uh, in this tutorial we are uh, going to see how uh, this optocoupler 6 and 137 works. So basically this is its data sheet. This is a single channel uh, high speed optocoupler that can work up to up to 10 megabit. As you can see this it has it is an 8 pin uh, package with two pins not connected 1 and 4. So we are going to give our input to pin number 2 and 3 and we will get our output from pin number 6 uh, but we need some arrangement before <coughs> before you know making it operational first of all is this that in order to uh, be on the safe side connect a small resistance let us put 100 ohm resistance on the input sides so this is my input uh, which is uh, which is coming from this 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 function generator I will turn it on and we will make it you can see here it is at 100 kilohertz so we will switch it and see how uh, it works at 100 kilohertz on the secondary side we have to connect a 3.3 .3 kilo ohm resistance between pin number 8 and pin number 6 while the most important thing is we need to have a bypass capacitor which is a polar capacitor 0.1 microfarad connected between pin number 8 and pin number 5 which is also ground so here is <coughs> as you can see here in this data sheet we need a VCC the biasing voltage and this is our ground so this is our VCC which we will give through this uh, DC power supply and we will see how it works so let us <coughs> let us turn this on so I'm going to turn it on as you can see here we have uh, we have an input voltage a waveform which has a frequency of 100 kilohertz as shown here it is 100.9 kilohertz and when we will turn on this uh, this function generator the biasing power supply the power supply has 5.5 volt as you can see here you are getting a complementing signal which is complementary and it is inverted uh, by the also by the optocoupler as an obvious effect and it is of the same frequency as you can see here it has it is 100.8 kilohertz uh, so now what we will have to see is let us increase the frequency of the input waveform and see how it works so I'm actually basically I'm increasing the frequency very high so this is up to <coughs> 1 megahertz so even at 1 megahertz you can see the performance is quite promising so what we are getting is an uh, is, is is somewhere there, there is there is a small distortion in this waveform this waveform shows that the response is at its edge however if we reduce this it it works fine so that's all for today uh, thank you very much